Reading Course Development for English 115 Students. Chapter 3 The Art of Gardening. Unit 2 Mandela's Garden. Objectives After completing this unit, students will be able to explain the problem faced by Nelson Mandela for raising his garden, recall the importance of gardening in his life, and describe the metaphor behind Nelson Mandela's garden. Paragraph 1. Almost from the beginning of my sentence on Robin Island, I asked the authorities for permission to start a garden in the courtyard. For years they refused without offering a reason, but eventually they agreed, and we were able to cut out a small garden on a narrow patch of earth against the far wall. Paragraph 2. The soil in the courtyard was dry and rocky. The courtyard was dry and rocky. The courtyard had been constructed over a landfill. I excavated a great many rocks to allow the plants room to grow. At the time, some of my comrades joked with me. They said that I was a miner at heart, for I spent my days at the quarry and my free time digging in the courtyard. Paragraph 3 While I've always enjoyed gardening, it was not until I was behind bars that I was able to tend to my own garden. I began to order books on gardening techniques and types of fertilizer. I did not have many of the materials that the books discussed, but I learned through trial and error. For a time, I attempted to grow peanuts and used different soils and fertilizers for them, but I finally gave up. It was one of my only failures. Paragraph 4 A garden was one of the few things in prison that one could control. To plant a seed watch it grow, to tend it, and then harvest it, offered a simple but enduring satisfaction. The sense of being the custodian of this small patch of earth offered a small taste of freedom. Paragraph 5. In some ways, I saw the garden as a metaphor for certain aspects of my life. A leader must also tend to his garden. He, too, plants seeds and tends them and harvests the result. Like the gardener, he must mind his work, try to repel the enemies, preserve what can be preserved, and eliminate what cannot succeed. Match the following words with its correct meaning on the right. Number one, sentence. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. C. The time a prisoner is in prison. Now, let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word sentence. Muhammad, can you talk about this? In this picture, I see a man behind the bars, and he's a prisoner inside the prison, and he's doing his time, and that's what sentence means, doing a time inside the prison. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word sentence. Let's read the sentence. Almost from the beginning of my sentence on Robin Island, I asked the authorities for permission to start a garden in the courtyard. Number two, landfill. Muhammad, please provide the correct meaning on the right. D. An outdoor area where trash is buried. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word landfill. Muhammad, can you talk about this? Well, I see these trucks, trash trucks, in the outdoors, and they burying the trash and that's what landfill means to bury a trash in the outdoors now let's look at the paragraph containing the vocabulary word landfill let's read the sentence the courtyard had been constructed over a landfill number three comrades Muhammad please provide the correct meaning on the right a friends now let's take a look at a picture Related to the vocabulary word comrades, Muhammad, can you please talk about this? Well, I see a group of people talking and they're exchanging ideas. They're like friends, and that's what comrades means, friends. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word comrades. Let's read the sentence. At the time, some of my comrades joked with me. Number four, minor, Muhammad. Please provide the correct meaning on the right. E. A person who works underground in a mine. 
Now, let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word minor. Mohammed, can you talk about this? Well, I see this worker working underground, and that's what miners mean, working under the ground in a mine. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word minor. I'll read the sentence for you. They said that I was a miner at heart, for I spent my days at the quarry and my free time digging in the courtyard. Number five, quarry. Muhammad, please provide the correct meaning on the right. B. An open pit where a stone is dug. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word quarry. Muhammad, can you please talk about this? Well, I see an open area, and they're digging into stones, and that's what quarry means. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word Quarry. Let's read the sentence. They said that I was a miner at heart, for I spent my days at the quarry in my free time digging in the courtyard. Choose the best answer. Question number one. The garden was B. In the courtyard near the wall. Now let's take a look at a paragraph which gives us this answer. I'll read the sentence for you. Almost from the beginning of my sentence on Robin Island, I asked the authorities for permission to start a garden in the courtyard. For years, they refused without offering a reason, but eventually they agreed, and we were able to cut out a small garden on a narrow patch of earth against the far wall. Question number two. Mandela ordered books on. A. Horticulture. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word Horticulture. I'll highlight the sentence related to the vocabulary word horticulture. I began to order books on gardening techniques and types of fertilizer, which is horticulture. Question number three. To give room for his plants to grow, Mandela had to... C. Dig up rocks. Let's take a look at a paragraph which gives us that answer. In this sentence it reads... I excavated a great many rocks to allow the plants room to grow. Now let's have a discussion. Muhammad, could you tell us some of the things you learned in this unit? Well, I learned in this unit that Nelson Mandela wasn't allowed to garden at, the, at first. But when he was allowed to, there were a lot of rocks he had to dig up. And gardening gave Nelson Mandela, a taste of freedom, as he said. Lastly, gardening and taking care of his plants to him was the same thing as leader must do with his people.